This video for week two of the orientation module is about the expectations for capstone projects for the Design for Learning program. One important feature of this program is that you can apply your learning to a project at your own library. Through each module, you will continue to revise a draft of an instructional design plan for your final capstone project, a real unit of instruction that you can provide for your library community. Even if you're not going to go through all the modules, you'll still work on part of a project relevant to your own library. Some students in our first two cohorts knew exactly what they wanted to teach and were ready to choose their topic and jump right in. Other students, however, didn't come in with a particular topic in mind. Some even changed their mind partway through and finished their work on a different topic than what they started with. Any of the above are fine. We don't want this to hold you back. The focus on a real project is simply to help you apply your learning to a realistic and relevant setting. So, if you're not sure of a topic, we've provided several examples of topics that are appropriate for just about any library. For your first unit of online instruction, we encourage you to keep the scope as small as you can. You can always add more later, especially when you have more practice. We recommend that for your project, you focus on about 20 minutes to one hour of contact time with your students. This can be a part of a larger project, but keep your focus smaller for these modules. Make sure to look at the expectations in the syllabus for the capstone module so you understand the parameters of what you should be building toward. The syllabi for all the modules are shared in a PDF on the additional resources page at the end of this lesson. You'll choose your topic for your project in the second week of the foundation module and we'll provide some more information there, including some sample projects. The main thing you need to know is that for each project you will share your final instructional design plan, a syllabus or agenda for students, that's what you'll provide to the students to outline the lesson, an outline of content for you of what's included in the lesson with links to the platforms used to share it, and how you'll account for accessibility. This should include a video or live presentation of your own creation in any form, ideally with captions and a transcript, and an interactive component with students, discussion, review, etc., ideally among students, but also potentially between a student and their instructor, family member, friend. Finally, a brief report of your assessment of your pilot student's work and their assessment of the online unit. You can see several alumni projects in more detail at our Capstone Project Showcase at designforlearning.info. You may even want to show off your project here when you're done. In the next video, we'll talk more about what is covered in each of the D4L modules.